He broke into my house in the middle of the night. I was pinned down in my own bed. Sexual assault cases by the tens of thousands, not only going untold, but unsolved. So that no matter where they live and no matter what their zip code is, they have rights to have their kid tested. Ilsa Connect is a director of policy with the Joyful Heart Foundation, a nonprofit fighting to get the hundreds of thousands of backlog rape kits sitting on evidence shelves tested to clear more cases. But why aren't they being tested in the first place? One of the biggest factors is because rape is not prioritized as the violent crime that it is. Unless somebody asks for that kit to be sent forward, such as a detective, or a prosecutor, it, it could sit there forever. Connect says money and resources also play a role. Reports show many of the cases are being suspended instead of closed, which means the case stays open. But that's changing slowly. We just had a big win in New York State. The governor just signed a bill, the Sexual Assault Survivors Bill of Rights, that allows survivors, among many other things, to know the status of their rape kit. During the 2017 legislative session, the Joyful Heart Foundation helped pass 17 bills in 15 states to push rape kit backlog testing, a major step towards justice. And Connect says they're not done fighting. So it's really important that we make sure that every single rape kit that's been sitting on the shelves for years is taken off the shelf and is tested now and that going forward, every single kit that is collected is tested in a timely manner. I'm Nicole Vowell reporting.